All right, welcome everybody to another installment in uh, Colorful Already Plays Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. So, we have a new campaign to begin today. We've cleared the Shovel of Hope, and we've cleared the Plague of Shadows. So now, we're off to a brand new game. What could it be? Why, yes, it's Shovel Knight Specter of Torment. Slice and dice through the tragic prequel. Yeah, it is a prequel, and it is going to be a little bit of a tragedy going on here. But we are playing a Specter Knight who's, you know, like, dead, so... You weren't expecting a, an uplifting tale from this, were you? I don't think so. My name is Artie. That, ha that has not changed. Alright, let's go! Hey, Nintendo Addict! Welcome, welcome! Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. But al although the kingdom, <laughs> although the land is peaceful, for some freedom is a far gone memory. Uh oh. Spectre Knight, servant to the Enchantress, has been given a harrowing task. Dang, I love the graphics in these cutscenes. They're so good. He must recruit a group of knights and form an invincible order. With each member gathered, a treasured keepsake grows in power. That locket looks a little familiar, doesn't it? An artifact which can restore his humanity, but only when his task is complete. Now he leaves the confines of the Tower of Fate, it's time for the Reaper to pursue his quarry. Yeah, so this is a nice little prequel about Spectre Knight gathering the Order of No Quarter together, which is kind of cool. Dramatic cape flowing. Into oblivion. And yeah, uh, the levels are actually going to be different for Spectre Knight. I mean, we'll go to the same locations, but the actual level layout is going to be quite different. And we got a Scythe! I love Scythes. One of, my, one of the most underrated weapons. And also, look what Spectre Knight can do. He can climb up walls a little bit. He can also wall jump. But not against every wall. Mobius, welcome! You're just in time for the beginning of Spectre of Torment. So yeah, Spectre Knight plays very differently from how he fights in the other two campaigns. But I definitely prefer this play style to what we would have gotten for Hey, you float! Also, we can destroy stuff underneath us just by jumping. Red Skull! <laughs> I didn't know he was here. Guess he got tired of fighting... Is it Iron Man? I don't know which Marvel series Red Skull is a villain in, but... Oh yeah, Spectre Knight has great character design. This is something else cool we can do. See that flashing line there? Shoom! We can attack, and... Ooh, yeah. Shovel Knight, the, sh the Shovel Knight campaign is the main version of the game. All the rest of this is free DLC that came with it later. It was awesome. Uh, Toy Collector, that's because it's intentionally designed to be like an old NES game. It was an intentional design decision. Oh yeah! Yep, and all the music has been remixed. I generally... Actually, no. I'm not sure if there's a single song that I prefer the Spectre Knight version of, but... It's still good. I just really like the original soundtrack. No annoying NES glitches. That's true. Although, because NES games were just simpler overall, there were fewer glitches in NES games than there are in, like, modern games. Gen- as a general rule of thumb.
I also like how it's like different times of day uh, <laughs> for Spectre Knight. Instead of it being dawn for the Plains of Passage, it's like sunset. Very fitting. While I like Plague Knight's, like, controls a little bit better, Spectre Knight's probably better when it comes to fighting. Which is good, because the bosses are also going to be tougher for Spectre Knight. But that's a little secret. Oh yeah, instead of eating turkey, we eat turkey bones. Because we're dead. Oh, but the Taiwanese NES bootlegs were the best! Nintendo Attic, how dare you? Being able to back... Being able to backflip up mountains was 100% an intended feature in the game. Of Pokemon Violet and Scar Scarlet, or whatever they're called. Boing! I like the Skull Collectibles. They're kind of like the Cypher Coins, but there's way fewer of them on a level. The Cypher Coins got a little bit much at times. This is a great tutorial for Spectre Knight. It really teaches you the basics of how he controls, which is great. I guess this level's similar to the original level for Shovel Knight and Plague Knight, but it is, there are still many differences. Oh, sorry, Bubble Man is in the... that's the wrong game. What's in here? Willful Wisp prolongs your undeath by increasing max will. It's true, we're only the only reason we're alive is because we have will. It's just like real life, if you will hard enough, you can survive even after dying. No, that's not true. Artie's making a little jokey joke. Yeah, anyone else want a piece of Spectre Knight? Dragon Boy can do nothing to us. Nothing. We gotta make sure we slash at the right time so we don't slash downwards, though. That was something that always caught me off on my first playthrough of this. <laughs> I'm always like, no, I I slashed too early, now I'm slashing down into the abyss. That's never fun. Yeah, it's true. When times are tough, you gotta will through it. Oh. Ha ha. What's in the treasure chest? That's gonna be hard to get my treasure back. I want my treasure back, treasure back, treasure back. It's never fun to lose your treasure, especially at the beginning of the game when you have all the stuff to buy. Also, rip Deathless Run. Because I was definitely going to get the Deathless Run achievement on my first attempt. Oh, I just realized I'm using the stick again. I was using the D-pad so diligently for Shovel Knight and Plague Knight, but... Thus far, the actual stick is working well for Spectre Knight. Alright, I want my treasure back. <laughs> that was like some guy who left comments on my 
recent Shadow of the Colossus upload who was like, man, you're terrible at this game. I'm like, it, it's a blind playthrough. Of course I am. <laughs> um, that made me laugh when he left that comment. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, it's Black Knight, because he's always the first boss. Halt! These foul lands are no place for commoners. Turn back, whoever you are. Fool. I've come here for you. You will kneel before me, bow before the Enchantress, and join her order. Your cutting words are no match for my cutting blows! I'll teach you a lesson in humility! Come, Terrapin! My shield shall steed! He has a turtle now! And the turtle we can't actually damage. This is kind of the uh, fights for uh, Spectre Knight. <laughs> Just jump slash to stun lock them over and over again. That oh, I love that finish. <laughs> How everything goes in silhouettes. Nice job, Spectre Knight! <laughs> that fighting style. Could it be Donovan? But you were claimed by the tower! The tower grows in power each moment. The Enchantress has plans for you, and will grant you what you desire. I won't be led astray! You standing before me means there's hope for the one I seek. I'm glad you are safe, Donovan, but keep your distance. The Donovan I knew would surely know better than to pursue me further. Darn, he's not joining the Order of No Quarter. We scared Terrapin off. That stage is similar to Bubble Man stage, yeah. Got the waterfalls. Ooh, he's staring at the locket in this gorgeous backdrop. Oh, hi, Enchantress. So, you've returned. I assume Black Knight has joined our ranks? Neither words nor scythe had any effect. The fool persists in some fruitless quest. Indeed, it seems I am dealing only with fools here. Was I a fool to trust you? Tarry here no longer, and for your sake, pray that the others are less obstinate. Bring the knights immediately! Okay, okay, crabby. Hey, bro! Oi, I'm the edge farmer. Oi, I am. You think you're edgy, do ya? Oi, oi will be the judge of that, but we will. We could ride our scythe like a skateboard. It's awesome. Oh, this music's pretty good. Horus. Oh, welcome. Few visit the endless parapet, but for the brave I offer a brief diversion of my own design. As if the Enchantress has the time for diversions. I've been here far longer than she. I merely reward the odd seeker of frills and none harm me. Care to play my game? If you farewell, there may be a reward. I mean, sure! Ah, then we shall begin. Please board. Board the platform! Oh, that's right. This is an annoying vertical auto scroller, isn't it? Oh no, this is like a, a mode where it's like you can't go back down once you climb up. Oh shoot, I forgot the floor is lava. Oh shoot. No, no, no. No! You stupid goops! You performed admirably, but the goal remains elusive. Perhaps you'd like to try again sometime. Perhaps I would. Ooh! How do you like that? Ooh! How fine a dining room! Phone claim! Oh, it's you! I saw you slicing and dicing for the planes earlier! Wow! Round the juice on me! Hey, thanks, bro! What a pal. 
This guy looks nice. Let's talk to him. Creech! Your choice drafty in here, but still I carry on. <laughs> Just a joke, you know. We're scavenging for customers. What a comedian. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with curios. Perhaps I'll make an offering. Offer 1,000 gold. No! A waste of time and of coin. The main room is important. It's Missy! Oh, hey, Specty! Welcome back! If you ever miss any wisp chests, I can summon their contents here. But, you know, supplies, I need gold! It isn't cheap to summon a wisp, whether it's for will or darkness! <laughs> oh, Anson is gonna love this. I've got nothing to sell you, but you're so meticulous, Specty. But maybe I can still help. Let's see. Darkness Wisps are in Clockwork Tower, Explodatorium, or the Lich Yard. Any other new place and you'll find a Willful Wisp. Alright, thanks, Missy. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with a cloak. Maybe I'll make an offering? We'll offer 800 gold. The vessel can hold far more than this pittance, but it's a start. Hey, bro. My beloved, my betrothed, my heart breaks for her red skull lies misplaced. Oh, to see her crimson face once more. If you should happen upon a red skull, even a hundred of them, then I beg you, please bring them all to me. In a past life, I hunted curios, but I'd trade them all away just to see my love again. Surely these would interest you. Ooh, we have the throwing sickle, launch a boomeranging blade, we got the dread talon, unleash a powerful close stri range strike, and my favorite, the will skull. Clutch the skull to regain will. A health fulfilling item? Yes, please. Ah, oh, this curio is well guarded. While I can lead you there, you'll have to battle your way out. That's fine. It would seem that a curse has been placed here. I'm afraid your scythe will be of no use. Why is that, you ask? Sorry, but that's an ancient skeleton secret. We'll regroup ahead. Tread carefully. Will score! We clutch the skull to regain will. Didn't need to! Didn't no damage! Excellent! Away we go! Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I was at, like, no HP. Whoops! <laughs> well, I sure walked out of that one! That curio is no mere bauble. Use it wisely. Hey, I want to talk to you again. Oh, I could just- I could just press the Y button to get that? Oh, that's great. I have located new curios, but have you found my red skulls? Alright. Folks, should we get the throwing sickle? Or should we get the dread talon? I will happily get either of them. It's really just up to you. <laughs> we gotta vote for the throwing sickle. I mean, it is a long range attack. What does tread mean? Did you mean the dread talon? Well, while you guys think about it. Red Skull. Okay, we gotta vote for each. You can't control the direction of the dash slash. It's based on whether you are above or below your enemy. Yeah. Alright, it looks like the Dread Talon is winning. Ah, this curio is well guarded. Well, I can lead you there. You'll have to battle your way out. This area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. Tread Talon! Unleash a powerful close range strike. It's fun. It's real powerful, too. Move out of the way, you butt! That's fun. Excellent. Away we go! I do like the powerful attack. All right, we will offer another 800 gold. Yep, slow, but it does indeed cut them up good. It's not great against bosses if memory serves, though. Here we go. 
State your business, abomination! Who are you? We are many. We like your gold. We like your cloak. Touch it. New powers. Yes, we cloak you in darkness! <laughs> we Alright, so we got our default Crimson Cloak. Cloak of Clemency, lose will and darkness instead of perishing in pits and spikes. And you drop less gold when you fall in battle. That's a good one. The Rail Mail, an advanced cloak. Hold down on the D-pad when landing to grind quickly along surfaces and spikes as if they were rails. Striker Shawl, hold X to charge and then release a superior scythe swain. The Raiment of Risk, break checkpoints to lower your max will, but boost attack and regenerate darkness until you fall in battle. Oh, I forgot about that one. That one's cool. And then, of course, the Ghostly Garb. Look more imposing and fearsome than ever before, but to no effect. I mean, we can only afford these two, and I think we're going with the Cloak of Clemency. We're styling. I forgot how much stuff there is to do here when you first visit. Alright, I will make an offering of 1,000 gold. The vessel can hold more than that. I'm sure it can. Scrying glass. Brian Blight and fires bright, your feats are laid bare to my all knowing sight. Parapetio ascendus 90 is the number of walls you've scaled. Morbidum retrona, the number of times you've fallen in battle is one. Chronological, the total time you spent adventuring is 20 minutes 30 seconds. In Cinzium antecedum, the number of dash slashes you've done is 117. Clearly, this is powerful sorcery. Thank you, bewitched mirror. I'm not a mirror! Yep, yep, meow. Aww, cute kitty. What business do you want? Gold armor. I can't believe it! I get to serve the Enchantress! I'm getting fired up just thinking about it! Maybe I should come up with a new special move. Something to stand out from all those boring gold armors in Pride More. You are right. We should give Kitty a, an orb to play with. Oh! Kitty's so happy! It was my pleasure, little kitty. Have a ball! It's the Dark Acolyte! Hail, Lord Spectre Knight! Glory to the Enchantress! She has entrusted me to op operate this dark portal. Cross through it, and you'll be reach your target in a mere moment. Shall I prepare the magic mirror for your departure, my lord? Do it! Alright, folks, so that what's cool about Spectre Knight's story, you can do any of the levels in any order! So, where do we go? Do we go to Clockwork Tower with Tinker Knight? Primor Keep with King Knight? The Stranded Ship with Polar Knight? The Explodatorium with Plague Knight? Lost City with Mole Knight? Iron Whale with Treasure Knight? Flying Machine with Propeller Knight? Or we can go to the Witch Yard with the Phantom Striker! The Witch Yard's our home base, but the Phantom Striker's there. What, what are people feeling? Which, which boss are people feeling? Or you can also go based on a color. Well, three of these colors are very similar, though. We gotta vote for the Explodatorium. I'm, I'm down for that. I do like, like me some Plague Knight. That would also give us a Darkness upgrade. Alright. My lord, are you prepared to visit the Explodatorium? Yes! Man, I forgot how fun Spectre Knight's story is. The Reaper cometh! Prepare yourself, Plague Knight. Tonight your life will be demanded of you. Actually, I come with a very, very fun offer. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. I also need to remember, I do have the Dread Talon. Aha! Black Knight's stage is quite different in uh, Spectre Knight's story. More upbeat music, too, which is interesting. This is back when Plague Knight was still like, hey, 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 I just like doing fiends for fun. 
Actually, he liked doing that in his regular story. Oh, nice. Apple Core. Specter Knight doesn't need real food. He's just like, I'll eat trash. Because that's what I am. Plague Knight, you are what you... Or Plague Knight. Specter Knight, you are what you eat. the money. When did this become Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? It always has been. It became Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when we fought the Battletoads. Ow. I was going about that all the wrong way! Teenage Mutant Ninja Shovels. I love just having a quick and repeatable way of refilling your HP in this story. Ouch! Thank goodness those weren't real spikes. Yay, Puffy Kitty! I was fully expecting there to be a secret up there. I think I've only played Specter Knight's story twice, and one of them was the New Game Plus. Which is a very... It's actually a very different beast of a game. Specter Knight... Oh, wait, hang on. Specter Knight New Game Plus is really hard. I'm sure we'll cover that on my channel eventually. It, it ups the difficulty significantly with... One very simple little change. <laughs> I must use the darkness. That's what Kingdom Hearts taught me. Darkness is our ally. Oh, wait. I was about to be like, how do I do this? We can wall jump, stupid. Aha! See ya, bird brains. The whole gimmick of the potions traveling with the water is... It's interesting, but... Not sure if I'm the biggest fan of it. Ha! We can use the bird as a stepping stool! Hey, dude, I actually don't mean you any ill will, but, you know, duty calls. Mmm. <sighs> Thanksgiving leftovers. This guy's annoying because you have to fight him on the water. And this doesn't hit him nearly as rapidly as I would like. Oh, well. Yeah, take that. Through the door... ...into the great beyond. Only an apple core? I was ready for turkey bones. What's for dinner? I hope it's bones! Said nobody.
with how easy it is to get darkness, I should be using my curios more. Okay, those little rabbit robo rabbits are actually not too hard to beat in Spectre Knight's story. For once. No bones about it! Ha ha ha! That is the danger of Spectre Knight, though. He can accidentally wall climb when you don't want him to. He also can jump real far away from the walls when you don't want him to. This is a good length stage. Ouch. Fire burns bright. I forgot about the treasure chest enemies. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Oh wow, we're making so much money! Also, I haven't even fallen off a cliff to show off my armor yet. Alright. Shoink! Yeah, that's definitely the time where you want to use the uh, gauntlet punch if you have it. All right, here we go. Wait, why haven't I? Why didn't I find the darkness upgrade? I must have missed the darkness upgrade somewhere. Uh oh. Oh well, I guess I'll have to buy it. Oh, the spikes were instant death, but I was saved by my. I didn't even realize that. What? <laughs> wow! Someone called the Emboner. This one's past its prime. What are you even doing here? Show yourself. I've come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us and her army of invincible knights. Oh, you don't say! Sounds important, invisible knights! Tell me more! <laughs> Boom! You are clear... Oh, sorry. Not a different guy. You are clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my scythe will get through to you. Plague Knight's going to be a bit different than we remember. He's making clones of himself. So each, each of the order battles is different in Spectre Knight's story. You're the real one. Boom! <laughs> yeah! We beat up Plague Knight. Now he's willing to join us. Because that's how that works. Shoot! I can't believe I missed the darkness on that level. I thought I looked at everything. That's so weird. Okay, so apparently there's a feat if we just stare at the locket for a long time. If I were smart, I would wait till the end of the stream to get this, since I usually would close out the stream at this screen anyways, but you know what? <laughs> I'll probably have forgotten by then, so... Feet accomplished, Melancholy. I did see the shooting star. My heart grows cold! I have located new curios, but have you found any red skulls? Bounding soul, uh, free a lost soul which reflects off of... Well, we can get both. Oh, this curio is well guarded. I can lead you there. Each stage can give you a new curio, and some of them are way better than others. This area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. Throwing sickle. Launch a boomerang blade. The boomerang's not terribly powerful, but... 
That's okay. Excellent, and away we go! That curious no mere bobble, use it wisely. Excuse me, I want to talk to you. Give me the bounding soul. Ah, oh, this curio is well guarded! This area is cursed as well! Bounding soul! Press Y, free a lost soul of which reflects off of the surfaces. It's fun. Not super useful, though, but... It has its place. And away we go. Thanks, bro. Alright, Missy. Hey, you missed a wisp chest! Wanna have a look? Uh, I can't believe I have to pay for darkness! Darkness is something you get on your own! You don't pay for it! Sorry, Ansem. Actually, I don't know if Ansem would be disappointed or proud that we were willing to pay money for darkness. Also, Plague Knight's now sitting at the feast table. This tower sure has seen a <laughs> burst of activity lately. Business is booming. Uh, I'm having <laughs> a blast. The Explodatorium is definitely our only headquarters. Yup, you can always find Plague Knight there. He doesn't ever leave and go anywhere, I really promise! <laughs> oh, it's you! I saw you slicing and dicing through the planes earlier. Wow, round the juice on me! Oh, I thought... Never mind. Hey! Go, Dimer, come back! Watch the direction of your dash slash! The gash over for your foe shows your path, don't be rash! A strange aura surrounds you, Reaper. Why do you cling to this mortal coil? Sure is drafty in here, but still I carry on. Get it? Like, carrion, because he's a vulture? <laughs> Alright, we'll donate a thousand gold. The vessel's nearly full. Now we can donate another thousand gold. Feet accomplished, Spirit of Giving. Oh my gosh, that's such a great name. We be legion. Curios, gold, pay thee up. Powerful we make. Yeah, we can upgrade our Curios here. The upgraded throwing sickle will pass through obstacles and recover gold for us. Dread Talon's upgrade will resist interruptions and increase attack range. The Will Skull will yield even more will, and the Bounding Soul cuts through enemies and recovers gold. I like the Will Skull upgrade. Yes, please. I love more HP. Unfortunately, that was like all of our money. I'm gonna try the Lava thing again. Uh, maybe later. I guess the boomerangs didn't have quite enough reach. Box. You performed admirably. Okay. No, you know what? I'll, I can try that once per... <laughs> I'm gonna try that once per Order of No Quarter guy we get.
Come on, look at that. Whatever. He's like, I'm not impressed. You sucked. Oh, what do you mean I can't climb up there? But I can wall climb. This is awesome! I can perform lots of sword stabs with armor like this! I'm gonna put in for a transfer to the Lost City immediately! <laughs> Alright, cool. Glad I could help you. <laughs> that is true. Shall I prepare the magic mirror for your departure, my lord? Do it. Okay. Where to next, folks? I think the reward you get at the end kind of determines how difficult the level is going to be. So apparently Tinker Knight and Propeller Knight are the toughest, which, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Apparently Polar Knight's only 1,000 for a reward? Polar Knight stage is really fun. Hmm. I wish I could remember which level gives you which Curios, because there's one Curios I'd like to get early. <laughs> But if I don't, then that's fine. Proxima votes for the Lich Yard. Definitely an option. Lich Yard's pretty different if you play it as Spectre Knight. Any other requests? Otherwise, we can go right to the Lich Yard. Alright, Lich Yard it is. Yes, we're going to the Lich Yard. It's my home. Hopefully we can find the upgrade on this level on our own. Without needing to pay Missy later. Yeah, the town's not destroyed here. So it's not just a graveyard, it's actually like a place where people live. I, yeah, I just don't enjoy this psalm as much as the original. Still good, though. Alright, what's in here? $200, yay. I'm a little short on cash since I had to pay for darkness. I mean... Again, it's hard to improve on perfection. It's like trying to make Donkey Kong 64 better. You just can't. It's a flawless game. Dude, don't you work for me? That was unfortunate. Oh, great! My favorite gimmick is back. Okay. I'm Spectre Knight! No, oh, wait, you're Spectre Knight! Yeah! <laughs> Did I scare you? Jumped up and everything just like you said. Indeed. I kept your hideout safe and sound. Only Spectre Knight gets in here. Nobody else, not a soul. Thank you, Spectre Knight. I appreciate it. Feet accomplished! Get out of my room! It's Spectre Knight's room! And it's an open chest. I wonder if that open chest is gonna come in handy later. 
I promise I'll keep an eye out. Both of them, in fact! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Spectre Knight. I appreciate it. Gotta get the Red Skull! Oh no, these crazy gravestone ladies! Oh no! How dare you! Got it. I just really want to save Red Skull, what can I say? Oh, that's right, I hate this gimmick. <laughs> it's like, oh, there, there's nothing here. Oh, psych! There's actually is something here. I can't believe that room has not killed me in any of the campaigns yet. That means it'll probably kill me in the King Knight campaign. Or will it? I can't wait for the King Knight campaign. I don't like making these blind leaps. Just like, I sure hope there's going to be an invisible floor that pops out. Oh, I've played it before. Key Knight's campaign is great, but yes, it is very different. Also, no spoilers, but the ending of King Knight's story is, uh, interesting. Doesn't everybody just love the invisible platform gimmick? It's so great! Yes, they hid something in this hallway! In this vertical drop shaft. We can put out the fire temporarily. Here we go. Oh boy, another darkness upgrade! Who needs will? All we need is the power of darkness! The only mode of Shovel Knight I have not beaten is the Showdown mode. I got my butt kicked in Showdown. Apparently, my cloak did not save me, even though I had... <laughs> I'm like, you didn't have enough will! You invested too much in darkness. You literally don't have enough maximum will to save yourself. Man, that jump is obnoxious. Thank goodness for wall climbing. That was nearly very bad.
Take that! Get out of here. I will not leave even one gold coin! I don't know why one of these big boy skeletons is working for me and the others aren't. I guess this just means Skele uh, Spectre Knight is a real pal. I was about to be like, where's that last skull? Okay, it's right here. Good. Nothing like doing platforming in the pitch darkness. But here we go. Hello, friend. A surprise attack. Hardly befitting of the honorable warrior I had hoped to meet. Ah, oh, the Wraith yet speaks of honor, having surrounded his own to sir having surrendered his own to serve as an errand boy. I merely invite you to continue your trials at the behest of the Enchantress. Her power is unmatched. And she expects this empty, broken husk to intimidate me? Your power is untrue, but mine comes from within. Let me demonstrate! <laughs> this fights can be a bit tricky for Spectre Knight. Because you can't kind of you can't really spam attack him over and over again because he can shoot lightning at you. Not that that's gonna stop me from trying. I'm impressed, bro. Join the order. Aha! I win. Now you work for me. That's how that works, right? <sighs> you may match me in battle, but you and your cohorts are unfit to rule this land. Your days are numbered, wretch. I will roam free and set your kind vanquish and see your kind vanquish to the last. He didn't join me! I can't believe it! Who wouldn't want to join the e group of evil people? Oh boy, folks! It's time. It is time! We're almost there. I can feel it. Indeed, and a long journey it's been. Onward! Reap your rewards! Flashback! But yet, we still retain our gold. I can't believe he doesn't want darkness! He clearly hasn't played Kingdom Hearts. Caltrops! Scatter spikes in front of unsuspecting foes. I just now realized that this music is a remix of the DLC boss fights. Or the Kickstarter boss fights fighting with all our might. Also, I love I love how this guy is giving us a lift to use like our super dash through. It's so cool. Oh no! The teamwork here is awesome.
Sorry, bro. I gotta get the money first. Thank goodness we're not actually slashing the guy's hand. That would be bad. The flashback sequences in this are pretty cool. I like how it's all in sepia tone as well. That's how you know it's a flashback. Bro, we gotta get the treasure! That's what we're here for, right? He's like, no. Oh, hey! This looks familiar. What say we stop here for the night? Okay, Lewin. <sighs> Donovan. As a father, I'm worried about him. Do you think the amulet will truly protect him from all harm? Your boy has much to learn about the world, certainly. But, if this trinket is as powerful as they say... I... I can only hope the legends hold true. Don't worry. We won't be leaving empty-handed. Come now. Let's rest, and tomorrow we will find out for ourselves. Alright, Lewin and Donovan. Birds of a feather. Hello, I've come for your curio. What is it? Skeletal Sentry, summon a skeleton sniper and detonate it with Y. That is not the one I was hoping to see, but we'll get it anyways. It's gonna be like the last one I get is gonna be the one I want. This area is cursed as well. Skeleton Sentry, alright. Okay, yeah, close, buddy. Come on, shoot him! Thank you. This guy's incompetent, and I control him. What does that say about me? Hang on. That curio is no mere bobble. I know, bro! We like your gold! Okay. We should get something else. Um... Okay, I do love the rail mail. Because, I mean, come on! We can use our scythe as a skateboard. Get back here, bro. I want to talk to you. The boss won't say much about our latest project. Keeps yelling something about essences. Who knows? I, I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Oh, hey! Look who it is! It's Spectre Knight! I'm the Phantom Striker! Yeah! Oh, wait. Is this supposed to be Pyro Pap Papyrus? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not really Phantom Striker. Did I fool you? If you are here, then who guards my hideout? <laughs> Shunk! Hey, lady. Hello, I saw you dashing through the lich yard. You must be Spectre Knight. I'm so happy to finally meet you. Keeping morale high around here is important, so to welcome you, let me share my greatest treasure. Dance! Spectre Knight hates dancing. It reminds him of the fact that he never got a date to prom. Well? Gets your blood pumping, huh? It makes me ill. This is no place for your foolish mirth. Be gone! But, but, what the? I just wanted to, to... Must you be escorted? How could you? You know, I studied that dance just for you. You monster! I'll have my revenge! Cold shoulder! You steeled your resolve, then remained cool in the face of jubilance. Summon this ability at any time, but holding down on the deep end. <laughs> That's why the lady just hated Spectre Knight in Shovel Knight's campaign. Dude, that's so cool. It's so worth it.
Ugh, serving Mole Knight is the worst! If I'm not on guard, he makes me dig! Don't even get me started on the temperature! I wish I could work somewhere cool and wet. Your wish... will be granted. What's the big idea? My suit is all rusted! Hey! Like this, I can pass myself off as a guard of the Iron Whale! I'll need some kind of nautical attack. Nah, whatever. I'll just grab an anchor or something. <laughs> I don't think I ever did that in my main play for the game. That's funny. Hey, Dark Acolyte. Should I prepare the magic mirror for your departure, my lord? Do it. All right, folks. Where to next? We got Tinker Knight, King Knight, Polar Knight, Mole Knight, Treasure Knight, and Propeller Knight. Out of these choices, I'm kind of leaning towards Propeller Knight. Get it out of the way early, so we don't have to do it at the end. But it, but I will, I will let Twitch Chat help me decide. I'm sorry, Stream Chat. It's not just Twitch Chat anymore. All right, let's go, Flying Machine. My lord, are you prepared to visit the Flying Machine? Yes. Actually, this song I might like more as a remix. <laughs> Propeller Knight it is. Although, Propeller Knight stage is a lot better in Spectre Knight's campaign. Well, not a lot better, but it's more palatable. Uh-oh. Remember, folks, it's not about whether you win or lose, it's about how cool you- oh! The skateboard attack doesn't even hit enemies. This is one level where you do have to watch out when, where you swing, because if you swing at the wrong time, it could be disastrous. Okay, that was on me. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but that was definitely on me. Yes, if you jump at the wrong time, that is also bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. Is that a rotten carrot that we just ate? Oh no! <laughs> Why did I pick the skateboard scythe again? <laughs> oh, that's right, because it looks cool. That's why, Mom. Skateboard armor is the best armor. This is not negotiable. <laughs> it's even cooler than the one that's just supposed to look cool. I was trying to do the cross your shoulders and look cool pose. But it, but I did it while in the air, so they're like, It's, skate it's skateboard in time, Woody. This is what I was trying to do. There we go. Willful Wisp. More maximum will. Uh oh. I just. I just ruined my chances of scoring rich.
I love not being able to see what I do. Don't you? Well, that could have gotten a lot better! I made it! I made it! Don't worry about me! There we go. Thanks for the health, bros. Oh, hey! The stupid floaty armor guys are actually useful for a change! It's a Christmas miracle. We can also cleave the cannonballs in half, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. I made it. <laughs> Saved it. <laughs> Saved it. <laughs> oh boy, auto scrollers. You guys know I love auto scrollers. They're just so automatic. I'm so glad we got to do this pose in time for the auto scrollers. No, my money! Wow, ha cha cha! How wonderful. Oh! Secret! That jump is deceptively difficult to make. I want the money! Thank you. I'm starting to think that the skateboard armor might not be super practical. No! No, my red skull. No, my red skull. I will get the red skull. I will get the red skull. Every time I use the skateboarding tricks, it comes back to bite me. So, therefore, I need to keep doing them so I get better at it. Okay, this one just never stops blowing, so there we go. Now the real challenge is going to be getting my money back. Why did I not upgrade more of my curios? Oh! Oh! No, uh, no, that's still a win. I got my money into a much easier to reach spot, and I didn't lose any of it permanently. That is a win. There we go. La da di da. Oh no, wind. I hate the wind. I hate it. I don't trust that jellyfish for one second. Oh no! Worst boy is back. Thankfully, he's a little bit more manageable as Spectre Knight. Secrets are meant to be shared, Bratula. 
At least when it comes to fun secrets like this, not like personal secrets. I forgot how good Spectre Knight's campaign is! Guys, I know exactly what will help break the F us out of here! Thirst Blood! Out of here, Propeller Rat. Ha 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 ha! That's just lovely. Oh hey, and now we're at the boss. Ho 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 ho! Such tattered robes! Are you here to join the galley crew then? Magnificent! On the contrary, you shall join us. An alliance of elite knights will surely complement your carefree crew. As the captain of the Enchantress's flagship, the skies will belong to your rivals no more. Rivals? Me? Never! I'll cast you overboard! Hope that blade is better honed than your sense of style. On guard! Oh! Forgot about this part. You know, the whole gimmick of the Spectre Knight version of this fight. Bye bye! Wow, you were way easier than you were for Shovel Knight. Thank you, my sentry! I really need to upgrade more of my curios! <laughs> Or buy more suits of armor. That also might help. Boy, at this rate, we might finish Spectre of Torment in two streams. I knew this campaign was on the shorter side, but still. Shwink! My heart grows cold, new curios. Judgment rush, grasp the jewel, and rush to the nearby enemy and strike. This is a cool one. Ah, oh, this curio is well guarded. This is not the one I was hoping for, but this is still a cool one. This area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. Judgment Rush! And you can even do this through walls! It's situational, but fun. Excellent. And away we go! One other thing I forgot to do, we were gonna do the lava challenge again. I can't remember if you get an achievement for, like, being on the real grinding section for a long enough time. Whatever. There's an achievement for staying on a rail for a long time. Let me use my... Curio. Oh, you can see on the left side how close we are to the top. We are not even close to the top. Okay. Trying that again. I don't even remember what you get if you beat this. I do like how it changes every time you try, though. Adds a little bit of variety, and it means you have to think on your feet.
Well, that didn't work. Wee! <laughs> Stop wall climbing when I don't want you to, Spectre Knight. All right. Uh, let's go for the Striker Shawl now. Yes. Hold X and release it for the charge swing. I mean, I'd still much rather do the rapid swing, but this looks pretty cool. I got nothing to specify. All right. What do you have to say here? Oh, with the juice selection here, we'll be right at home among the commoners. How quaint. Ha ha, must I send for my private reserve? Oh, that's right, I can't skateboard anymore. I immediately tried skateboarding once I couldn't. The shirt's empty and fast. Homes and graves, big and small. Everyone's just taking off. Eerie. Just a little bit eerie, perhaps. Curious. We can make stronger. Okay, I like the throwing sickle. That could be useful for getting our uh, gold back. Skeletal Sentry. If you upgrade it, fires even more projectiles and has more health. I mean, the Skeletal Sentry really helped with the boss fights. Judgment Rush grants invincibility and activates Rush Fat. Oh, no, we're doing that one. That's, that's actually very good. And then apart from that, yeah, we'll upgrade the Sentry again. <sighs> oh, hey, Specter Knight. You know, no one ever told me how boring it would be to guard the ocean. It's so dull and empty. Just staring into an endless void for hours on end. I wish I could guard somewhere exciting. Like here? Okay, bro. Well, if you want to guard somewhere exciting, I need you to move a little bit farther to the right. Just like that. Ah, intense! My adrenaline's pumping! I feel great! I feel like I could leap high into the air! And I'm green! I've got it! I'm gonna burst onto the scene over at the Explodatorium! <laughs> you do that. Shall I, depart with my ma Shall I prepare the magical mirror for my departure? You should. Okay. Mole Knight, Treasure Knight, Polar Knight, King Knight, or Tinker Knight. I'm kind of thinking maybe Polar Knight. Polar Knight's one of the simpler ones. It's a really fun stage. Oh, we gotta vote for Tinker Knight. I will also go to Tinker Knight. I, again, can't, maybe maybe if we don't get the Curio this time that I'm looking for, I'll look it up next time where it is. Because it's such a fun Curio to use. Alright, we gotta vote for Tinker Knight. Anybody else? All right, Tinker Knight it is. Let's visit the clock tower. What are you doing here? Stop right there! Reese is here to save the day! Reese, The one and only! Uncle said there's evil stuff going on in here, and when evil's afoot, Reese is on the rise! Childish. You don't belong in this place. Run along before you get hurt. Who dares to intrude on my tower? Hey, lady! My name's Reese. Are you here to help me beat these guys up? Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Looking for an apprentice of, our, of your own, Spectre Knight. He's a nobody. Just a naive kid. Let him be. I'll escort him out myself. A nobody, you say? Well, that just won't do. Let's make something of him, shall we? What? What are you doing to me? The darkness! It hurts! Stop! Arrgh! The darkness. Where did it come from? So potent. <laughs> now this is the kind of feeling that I could get used to. Put him up, skinny. Why don't we take my new powers for a spin? Now we got Dark Reese as a boss fight. Come on, Sentry Girl. 
No, you killed my sentry, bro! How could you? Everlasting darkness! You know, I can't help but notice the mirrors between this stream and my Birth by Sleep Let's Play. Take that, Reese. I got a thousand bucks for beating him up! I stole his lunch money. Oh, how delightful! I am impressed, Reese. Perhaps I can find a use for you around here. Let's see. That nervous acolyte is certainly unfit to guard this mirror. Take his place, if you would. Of course, my master. Can I destroy him? Not too hasty, my child. He can ponder his fate in the dungeon. And you, stop wasting time, return to the task at hand, and do not fail me again. Well then, puppet, out with it. Where shall I send you next? Alright, as we were saying, we're going to Tinker Knight. You sure you want to go to the Clockwork Tower, Underling? I, you just got here, and I just kicked your butt. I don't appreciate the da the back talk here. <laughs> yeah, but Reese is now playing a bigger role in the story as well. Oh, I forgot how funky this psalm is. I love how they gave the Kickstarter bosses more of, like, a role in here. Aha! There are some tricky jumps in this stage, if memory serves. Also, we can use the gears to our advantage. expected there to be something hidden in those windows. Oh no, there's something hidden on this side. Take that. Thank you, Red Skull. Spectre Knight's just kicking butt. I love it. Makes sense. Spectre Knight was one of the tougher bosses in Shovel Knight's campaign, despite the fact that he's the second boss. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> if you start scaling the walls as they go up, you're going slamming up high. Oh, too easy. I miss my skateboard. You never know what you what you have until you lose it. I feel like the skateboard actually could have been good on this level. Or, more likely, it would just get me killed a bunch, because I'm like, I'm gonna use the skateboard! <laughs> Let's go. over this way. Aha! Oh yay, it's the final darkness upgrade! I've been waiting for this one. Even though I don't use my curios nearly enough. Whoops. Give me the darkness! Yes.
These guys seem like they would be Metroid enemies. I also love how we're like, health upgrades? What's that? <laughs> we're gonna get all the health upgrades at the end. That's the speedrunner's way of doing it! Ooh. I also like how we can wall climb the conveyor belts that should be pushing us down as we are climbing walls. One of the rare times bad physics actually helps us instead of hindering us. Heart shot, whip it good. Not too late for what? It's never too late for an auto score, right? Oh, to whip it. Oh, yeah, of course. My mistake. I'm glad this song is still catchy, even when it's remixed. I guess there was nothing secret and hidden back there. Uh-oh! Wait, that guy killed me in one hit? But I had... a full dot left. All right, bro. You want to play that way, huh? Boo! The guy despawned while I did that. I literally used the move, then he just disintegrated, and then it... That wasn't suicide, the game killed me for no reason! Oh, that was tactical suicide on his part. I was literally like, what do I do? Oh. There's a wall. Darn it. My money. That part always scares me a little. Okay. There we go. 
First up, we get our money back. We get our money back, guarantee. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Jeez, this I forgot how crazy this part is. Yikes. Yeah, leave the gems, whatever. Out of my face. Man, why is the clock tower must still be being built? Because I can literally see outside. What? How did he uh, how did he launch that when I killed him? Should have just clawed him to death. Oh, and of course, we're oh wait, guys, you know what time it is. Oh, gone it! Stupid Scythe Boomerang does nothing. Good jump, bro. Couldn't even jump from one platform to another. I have lost a lot of money on this level. How am I supposed to feed my kids? I have not played Castlevania, no. That was almost stupid! Give me a lot of money, please. Thank you. Thank you. I need- I need some extra money. I might regret this, but I'm doing it. What are you, some kind of ghost?! Get out of my shop! I have work to do! The Enchantress would like a word. We have an army to raise, and talented engineers are in short supply. You may be a tool, but I am not! Time to make short work of you! And he's actually using the mobile gear against us! I love that. This is such a cool fight in the, in the Spectre Knights campaign. Ha! Boom!
Boom, baby! And now, it gets real. Tinker Tank is driving itself now. This is a fight where the uh, orb we have is really useful. Bye bye! I'm really glad we got that blue orb before this fight. That makes it a lot more fun. And a lot easier. Thanks, Tinker Knight. Alright, well, on that note, stream went a little bit over time today, but that was fun. We have literally cleared now, like, half of the stages in the game, which is kind of crazy. So, honestly, what I might do, I might finish Spectre of Torment on Wednesday. Because, basically, we're either going to finish Spectre of Torment on Wednesday, or we're going to finish it on Monday, and basically spent and end it really quickly within Monday's stream, so... I think that's what we'll do. So we'll be continuing this, probably finishing it on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I will not be streaming on Saturday this week. I will be streaming actually on Friday night is when I will play Shadow of the Colossus. And I might be finishing Shadow of the Colossus on Friday because I don't have that many Colossi left. So, yeah, that's going to be my plan. Thanks for joining in, everybody. This was tons of fun. I'm really, really loving Spectre Knight's story, even more than I remember. This game is just so fun. This Shovel Knight is so fun in general. Highly recommend it. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.